I'm standing in front of one of our machines. Uh, for people not familiar with the range, this is an F1832. Uh, basically a 1 meter 80 by 3 meter 20 uh, work area uh, of, a, of a flatbed cutter. Looking at the head, um, if you look closely, we have installed the router option on here. Now the router option is uh, an interesting option to have, especially when you're doing a lot of rigid material like these PVC foams. Now the router uh, installed on this machine is the HF router. So the HF router is basically the high-end version. We have an entry-level router and we have this high-end router. Uh, if you look closely, what's, what are the main differences between the standard and the, and the HF router? Well, first of all, the rotation speed. The rotation speed of the standard router is around, uh, around 25,000 RPM. This one runs at 48,000 RPM. Just by hearing those numbers, uh, we can conclude that basically the cutting speed, the cutting advance speed, is nearly double for this one as for the uh, standard router as well. Uh, looking further, this one is actually a uh, pneumatic, um, has a pneumatic collet. So by changing router bits on the standard one, you still need to use tools. Here it is a pneumatic bit that is disengaged by pressing a button. So changing from one bit to the other bit goes quite quickly. Um, why would you do that? Just look here, we're going from 19 millimeter PVC to about three millimeter die bond. 19 millimeter PVC, you will need to have a different type of router bit than for the, for the die bond itself. Now, um, further, looking further, uh, we have a camera always on the machine. The camera itself is uh, used for uh, optical recognition. Here, this light grey mat you find on the conveyor itself, so all our machines are equipped with a conveyor, is basically a protective mat for the conveyor. So what does this mean? If you route through objects, you're not routing into your conveyor. Uh, so uh, routing through objects, you will be routing in a consumable which is the uh, router mat, but you can reuse this several times. So in the end, you will protect your conveyor while, whilst routing and you have a piece of uh, protective equipment that will last you for a while. Looking further, but this is not visible and we will address this later on, is the ADC, which is always on the machine. An ADC basically sets your cutting depth towards the tool or knife that is installed. So if you're changing from one tool to the other, the machine will automatically set the knife depth correctly. 